Start with, um, I guess maybe start with your athletic background. Okay, so I grew up in Ottawa and I grew up uh, in a very athletic family. We all played sports and with my father being Dutch, soccer was one of our biggest sports. Okay. And I played hockey too for a while on a men's league. <laughs> and uh, I was out there, I played every sport. I became a, a lifeguard. I was uh, have my national lifeguard certificate. We were just saying that we have both, yeah. both of us have our national lifeguard. Yeah. Where did you do yours? And the Pain Sports Flags. I had to do mine in Cuba. Oh, no way. Actually, I have beach. I have my nationals and my beach. Nice. So that's where oh, I, I don't have my beach. So. Yeah, so I had to go to a yeah. beach to do that. But that's anyways. funny. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so athletic, very athletic pretty much my whole life. And then uh, I got married and I had three kids, and uh, I now have three grandchildren as well, so I'm very blessed with that. And um, so being active my whole life, and uh, when I, uh, I was playing soccer for one of the teams I was playing on, I was playing competitive and house league, uh, I was playing keeper, and I jumped up to get the ball, and as I was coming down with the ball in my hand, uh, one of the players from the other team, she wasn't intent, she didn't try to hurt me, but she tried to head the ball out of my hands. Oh. And I had already pulled the ball down, right. so she headed my head <gasps> and knocked me out. And so I had what they called a double concussion. The first one was from when she hit me, and the oh, second one was from when I'm I hit the ground. Me. So lucky for us, we had an ER nurse as our de one of our defense. <laughs> Lucky she, you love having the nurses and, and doctors on yes, the team, we right? Love nurses and doctors. <laughs> and so she she tried to you know revive me and, and do the sternum rub and anyway I ended up waking up and I was sick so we all knew I had a concussion so they called an ambulance came on the field um, took me to Queensway Carlton Hospital actually of all places mm -hmm. and it was there that the doctor the ER doctor saw that um, I had uh, definitely a concussion but he also saw other lesions in my brain that he didn't like so he referred me to a neurologist Dr. Rabinovich who then uh, to confirm my MS uh, did a spinal tap and that way they confirmed that I did in fact have MS and in fact, after more research and more blood work and more MRIs and CAT scans, they found more lesions, not only in my brain, but also in my spine. So, which is then, but at the time, this is back in 2014, right. um, I had no symptoms. Yeah, I was just going to ask I you, had did no you have any symptoms? I had nothing. I was playing soccer, I was running, I was, I, I had no symptoms, so I had no idea. It was the concussion that... Thankfully, actually, it was a blessing in disguise that mm -hmm. I was diagnosed as soon as I was because right. even if it was later, I wouldn't have been put on the treatment right away. So right. because of that diagnosis, I was able to start medication as a, they call it a blocker, which protects the nerves, the myelin sheath on the nerves to prevent uh, any further lesions from happening. Mm -hmm. So that was a hard hit, in fact. I didn't go back to my neurologist for a year later because I didn't believe him that I had MS, which wasn't a good idea because <laughs> it was, I had started getting pain in my right leg and I started tripping and I started, I'd hold a glass and I'd drop it and I couldn't figure out what was going on and I never had the optic nerve, uh, optic neuritis or any of that MS, but um, I did have the weakness and the tingling and then the nerve pain. And so I went back to him and he put me on a medication and I was on that for five years and that seemed to keep things normal and then things changed so I was on another one and, and then in 2020 I had some traumatic events happen in my life. Mm. Um, which I don't need to talk about anyway. Um, so that... Um, about six months later, put me in a wheelchair.